This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power. Koholayim la, abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweshai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akiyam out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from Yahweh our power. And we're going through these things right now, man. We're subject to payments when it comes to your car, whether you own a vehicle, you gotta have insurance, you gotta pay for that, and you're getting ripped off on that. You gotta you have a car note, you gotta uh, pay that, and that can be from a hundred to five hundred dollars depending on your credit and how much you put down, okay? You gotta pay for rental insurance if you rent, okay? Then on top of that, uh, if you rent and you're at an apartment complex, okay, the uh, rent increases every year that you're there, okay? All types of things that we have to pay, man. You gotta pay taxes, okay? Which is just, you know, uh, uh, more gain for, uh, you know, the, the people that uh, run this earth right now, man. Okay, we're subject to a lot of things right here to keep us at the bottom, to keep us uh, in submission and to remind us daily that we're slaves, man. Okay, we're literally here to uh, uh, put our hands forward to uh, increase the wealth of the people that control society right now, man. This is hell. This is not life. Okay, we are literally living a, a nightmare daily, man. Subject to payments, man. Again, you know, you got to pay for water. You got to pay for water that falls from the sky to bathe yourself. And the water that we have to bathe ourselves with has fucking chemicals in it that harms us, man. The food that we eat is not food. It's chemicals. Okay? Genetically modified organisms, man. Okay? Genetically modified organisms. GMOs, man. Your fruit ain't real. Your vegetables ain't real. Okay, they put preservatives preservatives in the food that should not be in there. Okay, preservatives in the bread. Okay, and how do they do? They portion it out. And now when you go to the grocery store, you can get three items that used to cost between a dollar and ten dollars. And now when you go get four items at the store, you're damn near paying forty dollars for those items, man. Everything is is it's inflation on everything. The dollar has a has and is continuing to decrease man okay so we're subject to payments man on everything that we do man okay and you, you again you have to pay health insurance to be healthy you have to pay health insurance to go see a fucking doctor man okay you can't it's just it's, it's madness man it's just hell man but you know, what do, we, what do we go to right now? We go to Yahabah Shimmy Hawashah for the comfort, man. Yahabah Shimmy Hawashah to, uh, you know, um, remind us, man, that, you know, this is not the end, man. There's something else better for us, man. So this is going to be the book of 1 Thessalonians. That's a lot. I believe it's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Is that what I wanted? Uh, Where's the second? Salakia. So Bear with me. Let's see, I just had it. Salakia. So the one that I wanted. It's the book of.
God. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And how do we get comfort? By these words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. That's how we get the comfort in this hellless condition that is not life, man. It's just torture for us, man. So the comfort that we need and that we get is from the Heavenly Father's words, man, being spoken by his prophets, man. Okay, edifying you, warning you, uplifting you through these words, man. Okay, giving you the comfort, the relaxation, the clarification, okay? Giving you the uh, uh, the promises that is in, that is uh, promised to us in the very near future, man. Okay, so even though we're in this hell's condition, in this nightmare, that's not life. Okay, that's a goddamn nightmare. We have these scriptures to comfort us, man, and also to edify us, okay, to warn us, to foretell us of our history. You know, the stories that we have in our history of, of us living in hellish conditions like this and being uh, 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 given salvation from that standard, that condition that we were in, man. Okay, so again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as also ye do, and that's what we do, man. Okay, because this is this is hell. This is a nightmare. This is not life. This is slavery, man. Okay, you're a slave. You, 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 you're property of Esau, man. That's why you have a goddamn social security number. Okay, that's your tag and a birth certificate on where you were born when you got that tag, man. Your cattle. All right. But now that you have been awoken. And, and have that breath of life breathe back into you, which is that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding, which is the spirit. Okay? Ha, raka, quadash. Now you're alive. Now you're mentally and spiritually free. You're not like everybody else in this society, man. Okay? But again, it's a struggle. And it's also a reminder for us of what we've done in the past to reflect and to be thankful. That Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has even considered us to be awoken and to given, be given the understanding of this truth. Let's grab this real quick. Because I don't care how much how much money you got, what you got, man. Times is getting worse, man. Again, things are, are, are increasing, man. Okay, the prices on all these things are increasing. So I can I'm trying to find this. Okay, come. This is the book of Haggai, chapter 1, starting off at verse 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. So we sow, what does that mean when it says you have sown much? We work overtime. Okay, we work hard at the plantation. Okay, we do so much at the plantation for these fucking crackers. Okay, and these other heathens and these coon ass niggas. Okay, we do so much and get paid so little. Okay, you even might get a raise at the plantation. But guess what? Rent is increasing. Okay, these are our rates for next year. Are you going to re-sign your lease? Okay, gas is increasing. Okay, the food is increasing. Hyperinflation, man. Everything is, 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 is gradually going up and up. More percentage every day, man. Okay, the cost of living is not matching with your pay. All right. Haggai 1 verse 6. You have so much and bring in little. And how was that little? That little is because before you get your check, which is you're supposed to get paid every single day after work. Thus saith the Bible. That's the righteous way. But Esau holds your pay, whether it be for one week or two weeks. And what did I say? Bi-weekly. Okay. Fucking devil. All right. So he'll hold your pay. And then when he gives you your pay, you got all these deductions out of your pay, okay? You got this, the state taxes. You got the federal taxes. You got FICA. Who the fuck is FICA? I don't know this nigga, okay? I don't owe no money to the federal government or the state. Our people built this land. Our people, you know, keep this land going, man. Okay, period, man. But again, you got to understand who we're dealing with in this society, man. Okay, the wicked. So he's make he's making sure he applies pressure on our necks daily with both feet, and he's jumping up and down on your neck, man. 
So you can hardly breathe and hardly function, man. And you got a lot of these simple niggas out here that think this this is fucking life, man. Haggai 1 verse 6. Ye have so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. And again, that goes into the hyperinflation, man, with the food. Okay, we came to a certain point. Again, you was able to get a, a, a certain things and be able to get by for a certain amount of time. Now you're penny pension. Okay, you got to decide whether, you know, am I going to put gas in my car? Am I going to pay this bill or am I going to get food for the crib? You know, you, you, you got to decide on what you're going to do now. Okay, but us of the hopeful elect, Yahabashim, Yahawasha, make sure we have what we need to get by. We don't have any worries, man, because Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is going to provide for us, man. You got to believe that, man. Okay, it's St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 30 on down, man. The Lord knows we need clothes, shoes, a uh, food in our belly, a, a roof over our head, man. He's going to make sure that, he, that we have what we need, man. Okay, as it says, take no thought of tomorrow, what thou shalt eat, etc., man. Okay, ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. So you get that again, you get that paycheck, which is already, you know, you're already being robbed of your money. Because first and foremost, you're supposed to get paid every single day after work. That's the righteous way, thus saith the Bible. And then secondly, when I get my paycheck, Again, all these deductions, the federal taxes, the, 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 the state taxes, all these other extra bullshit. And then you got the social social security tax that basically that's supposed to be for your retirement. But they push they, they pushing back retirement every year. Every year they're pushing back retirement. At one point it was what, 50, 55 or something like that? Now it's damn near 70. Okay, and they don't expect you to live that long to get that retirement fund, man. Okay, chemtrails in the air, man. You, you're not even breathing oxygen. You're breathing fucking poison, man. You're just everything about this man's rulership is hell, man. It's a fucking nightmare. You go out and you got to see all types of fuckery, man. All types of faggot shit. Okay? Motherfuckers with attitudes and shit. They think they better than you and shit. Fucking heathens or punk ass heathens. All, 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 they, all they know how to do, like the elder, uh, 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 so like the Raash Monagon said, it's open. It's, it hit buttons on a fucking cash register, man. But they think they better than you, man. Funky, nasty motherfuckers, man. Funky, nasty motherfuckers, man. They walk around think they better than you, man. Driving and shit, picking their nose, eating their boogers and shit, walking around in public, picking their nose, doing all types of nasty shit, man. Slocky, I got sidetracked. Let me read this last this last part again. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, consider your ways, man. And we consider our ways, man. Because again, as soon as you get that paycheck after you got robbed of your money. It's, it's literally not even it goes into your account or if you get a paper check still you cash it and then what are you doing you're paying fucking bills man you're paying uh you're subject to payments as we read in baruch chapter 3 verse 8 man okay to be reminded that you're a slave you owe me okay yeah you know i fucked up your people yeah i, I beat your people yeah your people built up this place yeah i'm still killing your people yeah i'm still doing this and doing that and got my feet on your neck but guess what fuck you pay me okay oh the light like like i said in that movie oh the light bills do this is do this do that dude man fuck you pay me come up with paulie's money every week no matter what Business bad? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? Fuck you, pay me. Place got hit by lightning, huh? Fuck you, pay me. It's the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 8. For the righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day 
with their unlawful deeds and we're vexed because again, this is hell. This is a fucking nightmare. Look at everything around you, man. You got people talking about I'm non-binary. That means I'm not a woman. I'm not a man. I'm in between. What the fuck are you talking about? That makes no sense. No, you're mentally uh, 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 retarded, man. You're mentally insane, man. And it's just nothing but demons on these people, man. Nothing but demons. You know, then you got, you got, you know, our people, you know, you got Jake walking around highly, highly uh, 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 effeminate, okay, uh, with a whole bunch of estrogen in his bloodstream. I, I literally at, at camp yesterday saw two, two simple, stupid ass niggas, man, two faggots getting off the train with the, with the one dude with, with his arm around. You can tell they was, they was faggots, man. I don't give a fuck if you strike me for I'm going to keep on saying it. Faggot. Okay? F-A-G-G-O-T. Faggot. Because that's what they are, man. And all it, all it means is a bundle of sticks, which they like. <laughs> with, 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 uh, uh, with scrotums attached to them. Walking around. <laughs> and as soon as they saw us, let me shape it up real quick. Don't look back. Sweet ass niggas, man. And the stuff we got to deal with, man. We're vexed with their unlawful deeds, man. Putting all these things uh, in, 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 in law, man. You know, you fill out a job application. They ask you, what's your pronouns? What, what do you, what do you uh, uh, identify as? I identify as a fucking man. I'm a man, okay? You know, making you watch these things at, at your job, trying to push this shit down your throat, man. You know, and, 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 in, and in New York, they're talking about uh, uh, not too long ago when they had uh, asking people to open up their homes to migrants, man. All types of wicked shit, man. I hate this fucking place, man. I hate this place with a passion, man. Okay, so what, is, so what, 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 what does that say about us? Let's grab a preset, man. Let's grab a preset. This is the type of mode we should be in, man, amongst all these uh, abominations. Before I grab this, I'm going to read that one more time. Because we're vexed, man. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 8. For the righteous man dwelling among them, because we're amongst this shit, man. We, we seek righteousness. We walk uprightly, man. Uh, we're, not, we're not mentally, spiritually here, man. Yes, we're physically here, but mentally and spiritually, we're not, man. We're disgusted, man. You know, everything that I see, it makes my stomach hurt, man. It just infuriates me, man, so much, man. Again, men out of order, women out of order. Fuck these heathens, man. I'm tired of it because you know Jake, man. Just hmm, for the righteous man dwelling, dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds, man. And again, we see it. We 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 suffer it, man. We stay to ourselves, man. But in our spirit, man, our spirit is on fire, man. Our spirit is praying to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh to destroy this place, man. You should be sending up curses daily, man. The, the very first prayer when I get up, when I get up, is sending up curses on this bitch, man. Praying to Yahweh about Shem Yahweh to burn this motherfucker down, man. That's how you should be feeling every day, man. If you're seeking righteousness and walking up rightly and taking heed to what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh told us to do, you should be in that spirit and sending up curses every single damn day. These motherfuckers ain't gonna keep on smiling in my face. Well, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> yeah. Get him, Lord. This is uh, Sirach 15, verse 13. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai hateth all abomination, and they that fear the Most High love it not. And that's the spirit that we in, because we hate all the abomination that this man pushes, man. Okay? We hate everything that this man is about, because he he's a walking abomination, man. His mindset, okay? His characteristics, his ways, all right? His countenance, everything about this man and everything about what he does is an abomination, man. It, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. It's hell to us. This is not life, man. This is not fucking life. This is a nightmare. This is hell, man. This is a, a, a really, really grievous, horrific punishment from the Lord, man. And we're the only ones for Wadi Yahabashim Yahawashai that see it. Everybody else in our nation is asleep. And that should make you be thankful that the Lord has awoken you to this, man. 
because he could have overlooked you and went to somebody else and gave somebody else his spirit. Awoken somebody else and kept your ass in the world to go off, man. To not, to not be right here listening to this video being edified out of one rataza, man. Because again, this is hell. This is not life. This is a fucking nightmare. And the people that rule this world right now are an abomination, man. A vile nation. A vile, disgusting, nasty-ass nation, man. Everything about this man is disgusting, man. And we hate it. We hate what the Lord hates, man. Because we fear him, first and foremost. And we have the same mindset, out of one Rathaza, as Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man. We are, we are in, in, in agreement, in an alliance with them, man. Okay, as Yahweh Shai said in the, in the book of St. John, chapter 17. Okay? Also in uh, Psalms 97, verse 10, the, those that uh, uh, love the Lord hate evil, man. And we're all around evil. You know, roughly paraphrasing Psalms 97 verse 10, we're all around evil. Okay? Those that love and fear the Lord hate evil, man. And we're, we're, we're completely surrounded in, in evil, man. Around it, man. We're not partaking it, but we're surrounded by it, man. We're behind enemy lines, man. We're behind enemy lines, man. And we're begging and pleading to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to come save us, man. So what does that mean for us, man? Let me grab another precept. It's the book of 3 John. It's only one chapter. 3 John chapter 1 verse 11. Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of the most high, but he that doeth evil have not seen the most high. So we are attempting to the best of our ability to like it in this weak, corruptible body that we are in right now. This, 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 this body is a prison, man. Okay, it's constantly fighting with our spirit daily, man. But we have to overcome that fleshly desire, that fleshly concept with our spirit every single day. And that's why it's always good to meditate upon these precepts, man. It's always good to fast. It's always good to keep yourself occupied in the word, man, as much as you can. Even when you're not reading it, meditate upon the words, man. Meditate upon what you read. Meditate upon the lessons that you, you, know, you heard, okay? And amongst other things, too. All right. But we're seeking to do what's right, what's pleasing and, and, and uh, acceptable to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, in this hellish condition that we, we are in. Again, because, you know, we're patiently suffering this, man. OK, and all, all it's doing for us is, is improving us, getting that leaven off of us that we can't recognize or see. OK, because we're moving closer and closer to being more uh, uh, perfected, okay, by the words and being sanctified and purified by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai in this condition, man, okay? Because we understand, okay, as it says in the book of uh, Proverbs 28, verse 5, the wicked don't understand judgment, but the righteous understand what? All things, roughly paraphrasing, man, and that is us. That is us, and we must take heed, man, because we understand and know why we are in the condition that we are in, but shit, man, this ain't life. This is hell. This is a nightmare. And this is what we deserve that we have gotten from the Lord for what we have done, man. And, you know, with, 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 with you being awoken to the truth and awoken to your heritage, to your culture, to your true calling, to the true names of the Heavenly Father and his purpose and his uh, uh, characteristics, his mentality, etc., him and him and his son, okay, it should make you, you know, be remorseful. It should make you be thankful it should make you be uh humble to have humility to be in submission and in subjection to the heavenly father daily every single second of the day man okay so let's close out the point is made you know it's so lucky for all the rambling man but you know the spirit is just burning in me man well you know i'm not gonna say so lucky i'm just gonna say man it is what it is the spirit is just burning in me man it's just it's just, it's just vexing man it's just vexing, man. I can't, I don't, I, you know, for why do you how about shimmy how was shot, man? I can't, you know, I can't get comfortable, man. I can't get comfortable here, and I, I'm not going to get comfortable with, uh, in the way that certain people in the truth are with this word, man. Nah, man. 
Uh, I got to stay cautious, man. I got to, you know, stay on my toes. I got to stay, you know, uh, you know, I got to continue to examine and check myself, man. You know, because I don't want to offend the Lord in anything. I don't want to go off. I don't want to, I don't want to fuck up. Let's just, let's, let's, let's just be clear. I don't want to fuck up, you know? So if I'm going to overthink and do this and do that, I'm doing it because I fear the Lord, man. Because I don't want to, again, man, I don't want to fuck up. I don't want to slip. I don't want to fall out. I don't want to be cast out, man. I want to be cautious. Okay, because what's out there, man, it's, it's, again, man, it's nothing. It's nothing out there for us, man. It's nothing out there in this world for us, man, besides this truth, man. That's it, man. So I'm begging and pleading to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh to keep me here and have me endure to the end. And I don't want right to have a crown. And I hear, good job, thou faithful and diligent servant, man. I don't want to be, have my head chopped off and, well, you didn't do this, write them off your eyes. So you, you ain't right. You got to go. You know, I want to, I want to be able to get the prize, man. I want to be able to, to, to have that, that glass of wine with your house shot, man. I want to be able to see my Lord and Savior, my big brother, my, 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 my fellow tribesmen, man. Okay? I want to be able to, you know, shed those tears of glory, man. Okay? To be able to see, to, to see my, uh, my, my beloved brothers and Akwaf and children on that chariot, man. You know, with those new bodies and, you know, us coming down and, and, and running shit, man. That's what I want to see, man. I want to be able to see the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. I, I, I just I just want to make it, man. I just want to make it, man. Because this is not life. This is hell, man. And I hope and pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall speed this motherfucker up, man. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, starting off at verse 14. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so Yahweh, the power of hosts, shall be with you. As ye have spoken, and that's what we're doing, man. We're seeking good. We denounce, and we are against, and we rebuke. We condemn evil, man. In this whole world, this whole world, everything that's around you is nothing but evil. It's nothing but wickedness, man. Verse 15, hate the evil which we so which we show forth again it's, it's part of the uh the commandments that we must hate evil okay again those that love and fear the lord roughly paraphrasing psalms 97 and what we just read Sirach 15 verse 13 those that fear the lord and love him hate evil okay period man we are not no slave plantation 501c3 anti-christians man okay we ain't about that bullshit they don't know Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. They know Cesare Borgir. They know, they know Esau. That's who they glorify. That's, that's who they bow the knee to. We don't, we, don't, we don't go that way. Amos chapter 5 verse 15. Hate the evil and love the good. And establish judgment in the gate, which we do daily. It may be that Yahweh power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. But it's the whole remnant right now, the whole body. Okay, from Judah on down to Issachar. Okay, and we want to receive that uh, that good graciousness, that uh, that mercy, man. We want to receive that um, sure mercies of David, man. Because again, this is not life. This is hell. This is a fucking nightmare. This is something that we literally have to wake up to until the Lord destroys this place, man. But we're gonna patiently endure. Even though we're suffering, we're going through all these things, but it also, matter of fact, it's another precept I want to get for Wadi Haba Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. Let me grab this real quick. If I can think of exactly, I can't remember what book, chapter, verse. Hold off. Woo! Yes, this is it right here. Yes. Okay. Let me grab this. We'll close out here. Because even though we suffering, we're going through all this hell, man. It's all for a cause. It's all good, man. You know? So let me grab this. Um, This is 1 Corinthians.
Okay. All right. So this is uh First Corinthians. This is uh First Corinthians chapter eleven and directly to the point, verse thirty-two. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because again, we're suffering in this hellish condition. This is hell. You know, we're going through all these adversities dealing with this nonsense, okay? Every single day, man, it's always something. And all we're trying to do is uh, uh, have peace. We're not going to have it right here. We're not going to We're not gonna have peace in this captivity. We're not going to have comfort. But so like it, let me take that back because the scriptures, they give us comfort. But I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? But let me continue. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened, okay? Because again, if you read Hebrews, it shows you and tells you that to be chastened by the Lord, it says those that he uh, loved, he chastened, okay? Those that he loved, he rebuked, etc. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that we should not be condemned with the world. Because this world is condemned, it's going to be judged. And it's going to be sweet. It ain't going to be nice. The Lord's not going to be uh, uh, forgiving. He's not going to be, uh, he's not going to show pity. He's not going to um, take it easy. It ain't going to be none of that, man. And we don't want no parts of that, man. And that's why, you know, we're going to do what we have to do now. Take heed to what we have to take heed to now. And I don't want right desire. We are of that number, man. So, you know, Lord willing, man, I hope and I pray that this was edifying, informative, and uplifting to the true, sincere Aki and Wa'akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, Ko Holeyam La, Albanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kodash, Wathawada, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kodash, for putting the spirit on me. My elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. Adawan Ratazah until the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say Shalom. Love y'all. Lord willing to the next one. Love y'all.